Electric Generator We perform the experiments based on electromagnetic induction. In these experiments, the magnitude of the induced current was very small. But the principle that we learnt in these experiments can be harnessed for the use of mankind to produce large current. Here, mechanical energy is used to rotate the current carrying coil placed in a magnetic field around an axle, thereby producing electricity. There are two types of electric generators, such as AC generator and DC generator. In an AC generator, mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy in the form of alternating current. Whereas in a DC generator, mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy in the form of direct current. Let us first study the construction and working of AC generator first. The main components of AC generator are a copper coil ABCD, strong magnet, conducting rings and carbon brushes. A copper coil ABCD of rectangular shape is kept between magnet. The two ends of the coil are connected to the conducting rings R1 and R2 by a carbon brushes. Both the rings are fixed to the axle, but there is a resistive coating in between the ring and the axle. The axle is rotated with the help of a machine from outside. When the axle is rotated, note that here we have shown the axle being rotated manually. Then the coil ABCD starts rotating in the magnetic field. Two stationary carbon brushes B1 and B2 are used to make electric contact with the conductive rings. These brushes are connected to a galvanometer, shows the direction of current in the circuit. Upon rotating the axle, the branch AB goes up and the branch CD goes down. That is, the coil ABCD rotates clockwise. According to Fleming's right hand rule, Electric current is produced in the branches AB and CD in the direction A to B and C to D. Thus, the current flows in the direction A, B, C, D. In the external circuit, the current flows from B2 to B1 through the galvanometer. Thus, the galvanometer shows the deflection on one side. If a coil consisting of several turns is used, the current increases several times of magnitude. After half rotation, the branch AB takes the place of branch CD and the branch CD takes the position of the branch AB. Therefore, the induced current goes as DCBA. But the branch BA is always in contact with the brush B1 and branch DC is in contact with brush B2. Hence, in the external circuit, current flows from B1 to B2 opposite to the previous half rotation. This repeats every half rotation and alternating current is produced. This is what is called as AC generator. There is one more type of generator as discussed earlier, known as DC generator. What will be required to make a DC generator? Come, let us discuss about it. Let us first draw the diagram of DC generator. The main components of DC generator are a copper coil ABCD, strong magnets, split rings, carbon brushes and bulb. DC does not change the direction in the external circuit. To achieve this, a split ring is fixed on the axle like a split ring shown in case of an electric motor. A bulb is connected across the brushes to indicate the output current. When the coil rotates in the magnetic field, a current is induced in the coil. As the coil rotates, the split rings attached to the end of the coil also rotate. The brushes B1 and B2 make electric contact with the split ring. 
Let the coil rotate in clockwise direction such that branch AB is moving downwards while the branch CD moves upwards. The current induced in the coils is given by Fleming's right hand rule. Here the induced current in branch AB is outwards while in branch CD it is inward. Hence in the circuit the current flows from brush B1 to brush B2. When the coil AB rotates, it becomes right angles to the field. The contact of the ring R1 with the brush B1 breaks. Similarly, the contact of R2 with B2 breaks. The coil continues to move due to the inertia and the branch AB comes in front of the north pole. Now, the ring R1 comes into contact with brush B2 and R2 with B1. The direction of the induced current in CD will be in outwards direction while it is in inward direction in branch AB. The current in the outer circuit is from B1 to B2 in this half cycle also. Hence the current in the external circuit flows in only one direction in both the half cycles. This process continues and a direct current is obtained.